The University of Pittsburgh School of Arts and Sciences congratulates Joe Grabowski as a winner of the 2009 Tina and David Bellet Teaching Excellence Award. Established in 1998 with a gift from Arts and Sciences alumnus David Bellet and his wife Tina, this annual award recognizes outstanding and innovative teaching in undergraduate studies in the School of Arts and Sciences. Next chapter, we're going to pay attention to this kind of ketone. This is known as an alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone. Joe Grabowski received his undergraduate degree in chemistry from the University of Maryland and his doctorate in organic chemistry from the University of Colorado. An associate professor in the Department of Chemistry since coming to Pitt in 1991, Grabowski has also been the director of undergraduate research for the School of Arts and Sciences since 2003. This is just looking at the functional groups that we're going to see for the rest of the semester. So he previously served as an assistant and associate professor at Harvard University. Among the many awards and honors that Grabowski has received are the NSF Presidential Young Investigator Award, the University of Pittsburgh Chancellor's Distinguished Teaching Award, and the Carnegie Science Center Award for Excellence. Grabowski was elected a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science in 1991. I started teaching the way I was taught, and the way I was taught was straight lecture. You, you know, the student came in the lecture hall, sat down, the professor on the other side of the podium picked up their chalk and went across the board and after 50 minutes put the chalk down and said, see you next time. I started out that way. But it became quickly apparent that learning sciences had really advanced and there were changes in our understanding of how students learn. And for reasons I don't quite understand, I got involved and interested in how students learned and start to pay attention to what the learning experts said about what one should do. And so my teaching has evolved from that faculty-centered lecturing approach to a, what I hope is a more student learning centered approach. The best teachers are people that enjoy the subject they teach and enjoy teaching. I think those are two musts. <laughs> and Dr. Grabowski definitely um, you can tell that he enjoys the subject and he enjoys the interaction with students. Professor Grabowski definitely cares. He puts a lot of work into his, uh, into his lectures. I, I can tell because they're so organized. He's the most organized professor I've ever seen. What I try and focus on is are the students learning? What can I do to enable the students to learn? He really engaged the class, and while at times it was very tough, he was always very enthusiastic, and you couldn't help but also be interested. All right, so that's the third way of making ketones, is a Friedel Crafts acylation reaction. He challenges you to just extend your thinking and um, be able to draw conclusions that you, you just wouldn't be able to make otherwise. When a student can transfer sort of the basic core principles to a new situation. When they get the biochemistry and they see a new reaction, they say, well, we didn't really talk about that, but I see it's nothing more than a proton transfer, elimination, uh, a, a condensation reaction. So, okay, that makes sense. So it's not something we talked about, but they remember enough, they know enough, they understand the principles well enough that they can transfer that knowledge to a new situation. It, all you have to do is understand the mechanisms and you'd get it. Like understanding why it happens, and then he would test on basis of why, not like you know each individual problem. Was, I really enjoyed that. And he always enforced in class that we were not trying to memorize organic chemistry. We had to memorize a few bits and pieces, but understand it in entirety so that we could apply those few bits and pieces in any situation. So to me, teaching is an integral part. Of a, of a research university, and that means teaching undergraduates, graduate students, and postdocs, as well as teaching myself. The way he teaches you, it makes you really understand it, really know it, inside and out, and you can't help but retain it. And so I'm always trying to learn, I'm trying to teach myself, I'm trying to get taught by other people, and so I, I don't think you can disentangle teaching from research, from service. Uh, in, in, from any perspective.